you ever rushed outside, fresh out of the shower, only to be stopped by your mother or father who says to you, If you go outside with wet hair, you will catch a cold. Well, according to a survey conducted by the Journal of Pediatrics, a staggering 40% of mothers believed that if you go outside with wet hair, you will catch a cold. Well, we can safely tell you that that's utter bullcrap. In other words, it is Big Fat Whopper. There is no real evidence to suggest that going outside in the cold, especially with wet hair, will give you a cold, as colds are caused by a virus, meaning you can only catch a cold if you are exposed to a cold virus from an infected person. For example, if they cough or sneeze without covering themselves. So, although it may feel uncomfortable going outside with wet hair, it certainly won't increase your chances of getting a cold. It is well known that parents often tell their children that cracking their knuckles on a regular basis can lead to painful arthritis when they get older. But like all the rest in this list, that is not true. Big fat whopper. Research has shown there is no correlation between knuckle cracking and arthritis. In fact, to prove his mother wrong, a Californian doctor by the name of Donald Unger cracked the knuckles of his left hand at least twice daily for more than 60 years but did not crack the knuckles of his right hand in order to compare the two. The result showed no sign of arthritis, and Unger said, I'm looking at my fingers, and there is not the slightest sign of arthritis in either hand. He won an IG Nobel Prize in medicine for his findings. If you have ever swallowed a piece of gum, chances are that your parents would have told you that the gum will stay in your stomach for seven years. Sorry to burst your bubble, but this is a complete myth. I, I'll, I'll see myself out. Gum is usually made up of four components, and three of these can be broken down in the body. It is the gum base that cannot be fully digested, but that does not mean it will stick in the walls of your stomach. Like with all other foods, the gum is simply moved along the digestive tract by a process known as peristalsis, eventually resulting in a trip to the bathroom. So whilst swallowing gum isn't harmful to your body, it's still good practice to spit out the gum and dispose of it appropriately. One of the most well-known myths out there is that parents tell their children that carrots will help you see clearly in complete darkness. But again, that's a big fat whopper. You certainly won't gain night vision powers from eating carrots, however there is some element of truth in this myth, believe it or not. Carrots contain beta-carotene, which can be used to make vitamin A, which can help improve your eyesight. So where did the myth originate from? It actually stems from World War II by the British, who used this myth to prevent Germans from finding out that they had devised a secret, fully functioning radar system to intercept German bombers on night raids. The German Luftwaffe were fooled into thinking that their planes were being shot down during night raids due to British pilots having better vision thanks to carrots. This propaganda, however, was so effective that it even fooled the British public, who started to consume more carrots in order to help their vision during blackouts. So it is likely that your parents asked you to eat your carrots in order to encourage you to simply eat your vegetables. The lying bastard. To this day, concerned parents still tell their children not to sit too close to the TV, otherwise it will ruin your eyes. Nowadays, this is not true, but if you lived during the 1960s, your parents may have had a point. The American multinational conglomerate General Electric informed the public that many of their colored televisions were emitting radiation that was 10 to 100,000 times higher than the accepted rate, so it was recommended that children should stay at a safe distance when watching television. Of course, this is not a problem anymore, and with the newer and more modern flat screen televisions, the only problem sitting too close to a TV will cause is headaches and eye strain, albeit children actually focus better at close distances without eye strain compared to adults. Thankfully, eye strain isn't too damaging and there's an easy cure, just simply take a break every now and again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please show your support by leaving a like and sharing this video as it really does help us a lot. 
Don't forget to comment below too, and we will pin up the best comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Lastly, for daily facts and more, follow all of our social media accounts, which are on screen and in the description. Thanks, and until the next video.